Does anybody else make weird faces when they're focusing on something? it up to that edge so it's nice and straight. I'll take the arrow, also butt it up on this edge and drop it down onto the wrap and then roll it back. Hold it to that edge and drop down and roll that leading edge make sure it's pressed down good and continue that roll one down 11 more to go this angle. See how it's lined up there and pushed up against this back leg. I think that makes it pretty easy so that you can line your arrow up, press it up against there, everything stays square, hold it to that edge and drop it down. Roll it back, get a good press on that leading edge. Finish rolling it out and give it one good roll. Make sure everything's sealed off good. That should work. Got a bag of feathers, Ozark 4-inch parabolic. It's like a mostly black, gray, blackish gray. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. I got a question. Does anybody else make weird faces when they're focusing on something? <laughs> I sure do. All right. So this is the last feather of the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 arrows. Um, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you just gotta dive in and do it. But that was the first first time I ever fletched some arrows. And I think they turned out pretty good. One thing, the Super Unix, it's more like a gel. Uh, the Gorilla Glue, you can also get this in a gel. This is the loose stuff. 
after using both, I definitely prefer the loose. Um, it just seems like I could get the, the right amount onto that feather edge, the quill edge. Uh, now this, it's almost like you squeeze too hard and more comes out. It's like, this is like more controllable. The loose stuff for me, more controllable. Look at that. I'm happy. So there they are. I think they turned out all right. Yeah, I like them.